Hey guys, Nicole Scott here for Mobile Geeks. I'm joined by... Tom Dahlman. Hi, Nicole. So we are at the Audi booth at CES 2020, and this is quickly becoming a car show as oh, yeah. opposed to a consumer electronics show. Oh, yeah. Audi was one of the first German brands to actually start exhibiting here, and now the car news is basically exploding. It was. I, I remember a couple of years ago, the first time I was here, like 10 years ago, 12 years, there was basically no car manufacturer. There were some, like the American Ford, so they showed a bit, but there was actually nothing. And then it started with Audi and Daimler, and it just exploded. And now, this whole show seems to be circling around vehicle technology, what it's called here at the CES. And so, I mean, even we, we visited Samsung and Harman Kardon and, and other companies, and even those classical companies like Sony uh, are now showing vehicles. And you can see in the back here, uh, Audi is of course showing a lot of cars, the cars they have in product, but this is like the special car that you drove yesterday. Yeah, and I, it's very rare actually that a concept car drives around and someone like me yeah. is able to sit in it, because usually it's a qualified engineer. <laughs> but I got to do a hollow ride in combination with the iMe driving autonomously. So basically what happens is, the doors open and you freak out because it's so cool. So it's like, oh, and then you get inside and you get real calm because there's so many small features like the plants are built in and the material's very luxurious and it smells really relaxing. And just to make sure, it, it's really driving autonomous. It's really driving autonomously, right? So the steering wheel actually folds back, right? And then you have a nice table that you can eat on or you can, I don't know, work in your laptop, but this is not that moment. This is a relaxing moment. Yeah, but it's also like I think it's quite an accomplishment from Audi, even if it's done in a controlled environment on a parking deck. But but still, like having a car that you can get in, like looking like this, like this futuristic, which could be like 2030 or 2040 car, and then you can get in and drive around here at the CS. Marvelous, isn't it? And the, the thing that I really, really loved about it was that when we did the Hollow Ride, so Hollow Ride is a VR yeah. headset that uh, matches the movements of the car. So you don't get car sick. You kind of like feel like you're on a little bit of a roller coaster. And so last year at CES, they had the rocket run. So it was on a racetrack and it was like a, what's that? Uh, Guardians oh, yeah, of the Galaxy yeah, yeah, and yeah. shooting, shooting and all of that. And then this one was in Guilin in China. So it had this like super chill vibe where like it was like a drone going through the mountains. And it was cool. really very relaxing. But one of the things that I sort of took away from, from this is that as many car manufacturers as we've seen on the show floor, this is the consumer electronics show yeah. and Audi's message is very much about putting the consumer experience or the customer experience at the center. Exactly. So, I mean, when, they, when you're lucky enough to get a small invitation, which I also did to sit in the car, you get like the feeling that they that the car that's surrounding you is not important anymore. It just it just drives, it just does things. Important is what you have inside and how do you feel inside the car. Yeah. Can you watch a movie? Do you have some relaxing stuff that you can that you can use when you like traveling for a longer distance? Can you sleep in a car? Yeah. Because it's fully level four or level five autonomous so you can sleep. So this is I think even more important and Audi did a lot of stuff. They even have little plants in, yeah. in this car. Which is, which is really, place. really nice. Uh, it's just a joke, of course, for the designers. I mean, you don't have to, if you buy it, you don't have to water them. But, but it's like a little thing that shows you, you have to feel comfortable in the cars. And all the materials inside are fully recycled. So the floor, for example, the floor mats are made out of old fisher nets. Yeah. Uh, so they, they used old fisher nets and made a, made a floor mat out of it, which is a quite ingenious idea, I think. And, and that's what I really like about this concept, that it is like not thinking about the car, which is rare for a car manufacturer, that it's thinking about the inside and your well-being. So this will be the second piece of content that I will have made with Audi. The first one, Don hasn't heard yet. It was actually a podcast, uh, my other podcast, she said, he said, but it had Hildegard, who's one of the yeah. board members of Audi. And it, it was very fascinating to me to hear her speak about that it's not about selling cars anymore. And this is in stark concept to what we're hearing from other manufacturers. So to hear that it's really about 
the future of car ownership and where things are going. So be sure to listen to that podcast, Don. Yeah, I know because and, and listen and because Hildegard is, I think, one of the most interesting board members uh, in, in any car company at the moment because he started. We were we saw her like a couple of months ago mm-hmm. at the uh, Vincent Pretzels in Munich at a, at a startup conference, and she was the first one to say openly on the stage. The claim from Audi is Vorsprung durch Technik. And this is not, Vorsprung durch Technik doesn't mean as second better on the Nordschleife at the Nürburgring or more power. Vorsprung durch Technik means now make cars sustainable and make people feel well in this car. So use technology for sustainability and well-being and not for performance, which is quite a shift in, in Audi. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to listen to that podcast and you should do too. All right. So this has just been a quick little overview of what's been happening here at the Audi booth at CES 2020. Don, we have to go and find other things. Oh, we will. We yeah. will. There's a lot coming up. There's so a lot coming up, Be guys, sure so to be check sure. it. Exactly. See you guys later. Bye.